So the gun you use for aluminum is labeled ER260, which is like a 26 series gun. It has a special carbon graphite liner with a special neck liner. It has a special gas delivery system, um, special contact tips that can take the heat. The way how I typically feed the wire through, I put the wire in the liner, make sure the gas and trigger contacts line up. In order to feed the wire through the gun, since this machine is not equipped with an inch button and it's not equipped with a perch button, once you switch from steel to aluminum, you want to perch the line and you also need to feed the wire out. So your inch and your perch both happens by pulling the trigger. The gas flows, it purges the uh, 7525 gas out, fills it with argon gas, and the wire keeps feeding out. After four seconds or five seconds, the gas valve will shut off so no more gas is wasted and also the wire will become electrically cold. So as you feed it out and accidentally touch the table, once it's out, it will not make any sparks. So once the wire is out, I didn't have to take the contact tip out. I did an okay, good job straightening it out. Now it's ready to be welded. If you don't straighten out the wire perfectly, then it may or may not have an easy time coming out. In order to assist this, you may choose to take the contact tip off and give it some more clearance for the wire to come out. Now your next step is making your final adjustments on the wire tension. What you want to do is you want to make sure you can hold the wire with your fingers. The drive wheel will spin, the wire will not feed, and you want to make sure there's enough there, enough, enough power there to feed the wire out where it doesn't like stop all by, the, by itself just with the smallest obstruction. So this is about a good setting to have. Now the pro tip is whenever you had the wire spin in the same location like this, try to run 10 feet of wire out so that you get rid of the flat spot the roller just created. If this comes out, you actually will be able to see the flat spot in the wire. Once that flat spot comes through the tip under power while welding current is introduced, it can cause burnbacks. Depending on what configuration machine you bought, if you buy the aluminum package, the gun is labeled ER260, which is a 26 series gun, it's eight or eight and a half feet long where normally a gun for welding steel would be, in the auto body world, a gun that is labeled ER150 or for heavier fabrication, ER240. These guns come in 10 foot length. They come in longer length, however, for best feedability and best performance of the machine, those are typically kept at 10 feet.